Have you ever had files or folders or other data that you deleted accidentally from your PC and then removed it from your recycle bin as well? Have you ever formatted your hard drive and then wanted to get that data back? Well, today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be reviewing a great piece of data recovery software from iMyFon called Any Recover that can actually help you get your data back. Stay tuned. So a great piece of data recovery software called Any Recover by the giant tech company called iMyFon. Today I'm going to be reviewing this product and we'll see if it can deliver what it promises. Now before I start, I would like to say that I am not being paid to make this video in any way and I am making it from my own accord. I have been provided the license key from iMyFon and I thank Ruby Lee very much for giving me the opportunity to review this great piece of software. So thank you very much. Now if we go straight to the website, this is the iMyFon website and basically this is a giant tech company offering a great range of products from recovery and repair to data management and multimedia and utilities. You can check them out, I will put the link down in the description below. I am going to move on to the Any Recover software and the Any Recover data recovery software is a top class data recovery software that easily rescues data lost in any scenario. So data recovery is much easier than expected. It's available for both Windows and for Mac. Now we're going to go down a bit and we're going to see who this company is. Now being a sub-brand for the high-tech corporation iMyFon, we have stood out in data recovery with advanced algorithms and rich experience. We've been helping increasingly more people over the world when they lose essential files and are striving to create better products. So this does seem like a great product indeed. There are a couple of reviews here even from Trustpilot and uh, they even give you a 30-day money back guarantee if we quickly go over to the prices you can see that for a one month plan this would cost 49.95 for a one year plan it would cost 59.95 and for the lifetime plan and you can even select up to five pcs it can cost 79.95 for one pc and for five pcs 99.95 which seems like a really good deal and you can always customize your license for multiple PCs and request a quote on how many you would like yourself. Having said that, you do not need to purchase the product and if you just go to the first page here and you click for win or for Mac, I'm going to download for win, just click on for win and it will bring you up to the page where you can actually download this now for Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, 7 and Windows XP. You can just download it and try it out and it will still work as well. And here it also tells you down here what it actually does and all of the features. So deleted file recovery, recycle bin recovery, formatted device, damaged hard drive recovery, it can do as well. Lost partition recovery, raw recovery, computer crash, other data loss scenarios. Down here it also tells you what file types are supported. So you've got documents which are text, doc, Excel files, Word, things like that. You've got your graphics, photo documents, JPEG, PNG, GIFs, multiple multiple extensions are supported so all video files mp4s m4vs mwvs it just really seems great now we're going to test this out to make sure that it really is great and i'm going to prove that it is and then if you're satisfied with the product obviously you can just go to buy it from here and just either buy it with PayPal or, or put it in your shopping card and buy with one of your credit cards. And it's also great that they have the 30 day money back guarantee as well. So I'm going to kick things off now with the installation of the product and we're going to walk through it together. As I mentioned earlier, I have been provided the one year key of the application so that I could make the review on this product by iMyFon themselves. So I'm going to start off the setup, just double click on it. Now here, there's an important note. It tells you, please do not install the program on the partition that you want to recover. 
or the data to be recovered will possibly be overwritten. So that's quite important. So just tick on I've read and agreed to the license agreement. You can customize the installation from here and change the part where you want to install it. So if you're going to recover data on your C drive, then you wouldn't install it here and you would browse for a different drive, okay? Now, I am not going to recover data from my C drive for this tutorial. I will just recover data from another partition because I've got multiple hard drives on this system. So I'm just going to click on install and it's going to start installing and it's installing quite fast indeed. So installation, really big thumbs up because it does install quite fast and my system isn't the latest system in the world. So that's, that's pretty cool. And it doesn't seem to be very resource intensive while installing. And there you go, that's done. And once the installation has been completed, which took literally less than two minutes to do, um, I'm going to start the software now. So here you can recover deleted files from the recycle bin after you've emptied the recycle bin. You can recover shift deleted files that are permanently deleted. You can also recover formatted SD cards. You can recover deleted files from flash drives without any other software and you can recover formatted hard drives as well. That is really awesome. I'm just going to try it out. Cool animations as well. I really like the layout of this. So I'm just going to put that over there. And here it gives you all the hard disks that you have. And it also gives you, if you had external removable drives, there's a section for that, but I do not have that. If you can't find your petitions, they might be in the subsection down here as well, but I've got my partitions all here. And down here, you also can recover from a crash computer. And if you have any other virtual drives, you can use that section as well. So basically what I've done is I've created a disk. I've got a disk here. It's a 500 gigabyte Barracuda Seagate hard drive. I don't think it will make a difference on the brand on the disk. It should still recover the data. I've basically split up all of my video clips, pics, documents and apps and I'm going to just start deleting a few things and see if we can actually recover them that. So this is J colon. I've got multiple disks here so I'm going to be working on this data drive right here. Now this disk is formatted. It was formatted before with a four pass military grade format wipe and I put data on it after I did format it. So I would actually be surprised if I actually try to recover the entire disk and actually find other data from the military grade four pass format as well. So let's see, starting off with basic things, if I were to delete a few things here like pics, docs, apps, if any recover can actually recover the data. So here I'm gonna kick things off. I'm gonna go into, for example, my pics. Okay, so these are a couple of random pics, pictures here that I have on this drive. So what I'm going to do is basically, I'm just going to go to the root folder. I'm just going to delete the entire folder here. I'm gonna click shift delete and actually permanently delete this folder. So I'm deleting that, it's gone completely. It is not in the recycle bin. I'm just gonna open that up here. So the recycle bin is empty. I've completely deleted that. Now I'm going to go to my partition on any recover. I'm gonna select it. This is the partition I want to recover that data from. Click on start down here and it's going to start scanning. So here you can see it's actually started now and it's doing a deep scan and it's going through every gigabyte, every megabyte, every kilobyte, every byte, literally. It's just going up and going through the whole disk. Obviously my hard drive is a 500 gig hard disk. So if you have a larger disk, it will take longer to do the deep scan because it has to go through the entire capacity of the disk. Here it's scanning all the files. And while it's actually doing the deep scan, you can actually browse to see what it found. Now here, for example, I know that I deleted pictures by mistake from this drive. So I can actually open up photos and see what it's finding, if it's finding any JPEG files here. So for example, here, it's already found these JPEG files here. So that seems to be like it's recovering all that data that I just deleted. I know that I had the Pagoda. I know that I had these two capture files. And I know that I have had all of these. So it already seems like it has done a great job at finding it. Down here, it gives you a note. 
that it's recommended to recover the file after the scan is completed or the file may be incomplete. So it is recommended to actually let it go through the whole deep scan and then recover the files, even though here it seems to give you the option that you can kind of uh, just stop the scan and then recover. So to recover files in batch, please first stop the scan. So if I were to stop the scan right now and I'm happy with what it's already found here, I can actually just recover those. So I could try that as well, but I'm going to let it go through the entire cycle because I'm really curious on what else this is going to find here. So I'm just gonna let that go through the process and I'll be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. And here it's around halfway through the scan. And I just wanted to also show you that while it is doing the deep scan, the performance is pretty, pretty good as well. So it's not really doing much here. My CPU is pretty much low usage. It's around 15% there. Memory is 35%. Actual I, my phone, any recover is using only 144 megabytes of memory and barely even touching the CPU. Only 1% usage there of the CPU. So it does seem that it does not take up a lot of resources while doing the deep scan. So that's a really big plus as well. One hour later. Okay, so the scan has been completed. So it tells you that if some files were not found, please recover the found ones first and then go back and try again. Okay, so you can actually recover what it did find, then do the scan again and try to recover the rest of them because it will look in different blocks on the disk in order to try to recover those files as well. So I'm gonna click OK on this and we're gonna to go to the main window. So now that it's done the full scan, here it does seem to have found quite a lot. I'm gonna to go to photos because that is what I deleted earlier. And here you can see that it splits them up into JPEG, PNG, depending on the file type. So I'm going to go to JPEG and here it found my JPEG files. So these here, the W1, these are all the ones that I deleted. So from around there, to up to the very top here these are all the files that i deleted myself and it actually seems to have recovered them it actually has the modified date here they were back way back in 2006 i did create these a day or two ago and i created those on the disk after i formatted the disk now at the start when i installed this software i did not import any license key it does not ask you for a license key but the limitation is that if you do not have a license, you will be limited to recovering around eight files. So if I try to recover all of the files here, it will probably not let me. I'm going to just click on recover here. And it will tell you that you are using the free trial. So the free trial will actually let you recover three files. If you actually share the product, you can actually recover three plus five, which is the eight files for free as well. So if you actually share the product on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, you will be actually granted another file files to recover. Now, I obviously do have the license key, so I'm going to just click on register and put in my license key, or alternatively, you could click on your account up here and click on that icon and put in your licensed email and the registration code as well and register so i'm just going to register that now i'm going to skip through this bit obviously because of the sensitive information with the license code and we'll continue to restore the files once it's registered 12 seconds later once you've successfully registered it'll bring up the tab the page here that congratulations you've registered successfully now i can recover all the files and that is exactly what i'm going to do these seem to be the same files that are at the top here because they've got the same size pretty much so um, here for example this has got 150 kilobytes 115267194124 so 115267194 one, two, four. So it seems to be that they, those are the same file. I'm just going to restore everything and see what it's going to do. I'm going to click on recover and it'll tell me where would you like to save the recovered files. I'm just going to put them back where they were. So J colon and I'm just going to put them there on the outside and click OK. Saving data on the source partition will reduce the recovery rate. So it's not ideal to save on the source data. I will save them there anyway, just to see what happens. Okay, recovered successfully and they've recovered them. And what they've done here is they've created automatically a folder. So they've created the folder for you and it's the, the, the date stamp and the time of what it recovered. So if I go to all files, it's showing me the photo section. I recovered all the JPEG files. So it created the JPEG folder for me 
and I've gotten my data back. That's awesome. I've got some duplicate data here with Pargoda because it, it's the same image as I mentioned earlier. It was the same file, so I didn't need to tick all of these really. So if I just had selected the ones I wanted from here to here, I would have just recovered those as well. So that is awesome. I can actually open these up and there you go. No damage to the files, no damage to the pictures, fully restored. That's awesome. That's really, really great. Great thumbs up. So I'm just going to go back to the data partition now. Basically, I'm just going to rename this back to Pix. Just leave it how it was. And then you can basically just put the files back where they were and just select everything that you had. And I'm just going to put them back as they were here. And I can just then just delete the empty folder there. Okay, and then I can just go through the duplicates because I did restore the duplicates as well. Now, obviously, if I wanted PNG files, here it seems to have recovered these as well. So you can recover PNGs, SVJs. I don't think I had F SVJ files, so it's interesting what it found there. I did have a couple of video clips, but they're still on there because I never removed everything. So now I am going to do another, another great test. So I'm just going to go to the drive. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to format the drive. I'm going to give it a quick format and I'm still going to leave the volume label as data test. So I'm just gonna give a quick format, erase everything, yep. So I'll just close down and recover because that's using it. So I'll just close that down for now and format it and format complete, okay? This is normally what Windows does before installing the operating system as well. It quick formats the drive, it creates different partitions, and then it installs the operating system. So let's see if it actually can recover data while it's fully formatted again with a quick format and even with a full format. Now remember, I did do a four pass military grade wipe before I actually put data on this as well and it did actually find other data as well like emails and other documents that weren't even here after I had done the military gate pass so it could actually find bits and pieces of that data as well it might not find the full set of data it depends obviously how many times the disk has been wiped as well so here what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try and recover after a quick format, the data that I just had. So as you can see, the drive is empty. I'm just going to open up any recover again. I'm going to do the same process again. I'm going to click on the disk and I'm going to start. Now before when it did do the deep scan, it took approximately one hour and 20 minutes to do the full deep scan. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to start the scan. It's starting to do the quick scan. Apparently it has already started to find some files. I'm not going to let it go through the whole cycle this time because it's going to take an hour and 20 minutes for the 500 gig disk. So I'm just going to let it go a bit longer. So that's two gig of it. I didn't have much data on the disk anyway. I do recommend that if the disk is almost full, so in my case here, the disk wasn't full, okay? So it only had like around a gig of data on it. It didn't have a lot of data on it. So what I would recommend is that if the disk is almost full, that you let it go and run through the entire cycle. So it's already scanned through around five gigabytes. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to stop. Scan completed, okay. So let's see if it actually recovered anything else again. After the quick format, it seems to have found this file. It didn't find the original file name this time, but it has found these files again. Okay, and it's found the PNG. It's not the original file name, so you can go through them and see what it did find. It might have restored the full file name had I let it complete the full cycle, but it seems to have the data there. And we'll see what happens if I just go and do all files and recover. And I want you, this time I'm gonna tell it to recover on my C drive, recover that data. Okay, it opened it up automatically. And here I had photos. Let's see what I had in photos. Did it bring them back? Wow, that is, that is superb. Truly, truly amazing. I can open them up. There we go, it recovered them. 
Some may be duplicates, so just go through them and then just delete whatever you don't need, but it saved you the data. So that's truly, truly awesome. Okay, here it didn't find anything. I didn't have really anything there. So videos, let's see if I got my video clips of that Teco guy, they were, yes they are, here. So let's see if I can actually play one of these. These were one of the old clips I had here. So that was on combined mining. with the underlying proof of seems to actually be playing the clip just the fine. Blockchain. So this is got quite late minutes. So I'm going to do so down below. That is awesome. That's truly, truly amazing. Well done, I my phone, and well done, any recover. This is simply and a how super size with software. all the new. This could really save you hours of work, and it could save you critical data if you actually need to recover data. It really does a great job email i don't know what i had i didn't have anything really documents i did have two test documents here i had one yeah so i i think there might be under other there's a log here yes i did have that log so it does actually recover a lot of your files video files photo files documents they will be recovered and it seems to be like a great great product indeed so well done and thank you very much for the opportunity that you have given me in order to review this really awesome piece of software. I am putting everything down in the description below. There is a link in the description below. If you would like to download this software, click on the link below. As I've said earlier, I am not being paid in any way. I am not going to get any money from the downloads you are going to do. This was a review and an unbiased review. It seems to have worked fine. And I simply give this software a solid 4.5. It would be a bit better if maybe the deep scan could be slightly faster obviously but the layout is really nice as well really awesome job i can't really praise this software enough it seems to work as promised and as expected so guys i really thank you for watching this review i really thank you for watching all of my videos and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so down below hit that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel until next time guys Take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.